Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. I have the Verizon HTC Droid DNA and today I'm going to root it and that requires uh, unlocking the bootloader. I poked around for a little while. It looks like at one point you were able to go to HTCDev.com and unlock the bootloader just like almost any other modern uh, HTC device, but it was locked down um, pretty much when this uh, device was uh, released officially to the retail channels. Android Police got an exclusive uh, to post this little tutorial. So one of the first things you have to do is make sure you have a modern ADB that supports backup and restore ICS and up. I already have that. You can get this directly from uh, Google. I'll try to post some links. One gigabyte free space on your phone. You also have to download this backup.ab and this DNA team and IRC. Dot zip, so that'll probably take a little while. The backup.ab is uh, 300 megabytes. Uh, Android Police isn't responsible for any harm to your, to your device. I'm not responsible, and the people involved in making this are not responsible. Uh, go ahead and unzip that uh, DNA team and IRC zip. Put the runme.sh and uh, sidgen.apk and backup.ab in the directory uh, with ADB, so you can see them right here they are within this folder and then check the readme before continuing I went ahead and opened that up um, by following this unlock uh, guide you agree to not hold anyone but yourself responsible for the damages that may come process does temporarily uh, cause damage to your phone but it also repairs the damage uh, if the process is completed um, J Case was the uh, developer uh, he sends out a thanks to Sean Beaupre, hope I'm pronouncing that right, and their crash test dummy was DSB9938, so go ahead and read that in its entirety. And then run your command prompt, uh, go search in most Windows computers and hit CMD and then enter. You should bring this up. And then Make sure that you're in your ADB directory and type uh, ADB install sidgen.apk. Make sure your device is connected and USB debugging is enabled. So go to your settings, go down to developer options, click OK. Make sure that's on, and then USB debugging is checked. So I'll type ADB install sidgen.apk. I use a laptop just because uh, I don't have a desktop at home. I have one at work, uh, but it does have a battery, which is good. So hopefully I won't uh, get interrupted in any of these processes. So it says run the sidgen app from your phone and follow the directions on the app, then ensure the SD card uh, SID block image file exists on your phone with the following command. So we'll go back out, go into our applications, and right there we'll see SIDGEN. SIDGEN needs to know the last digits of your IMEI. Please have your IMEI written down before continuing. Please be certain to hit the last digit correctly and incorrect IMEI may damage your device. Do you want to open settings status activity to view your IMEI? We'll hit yes. And we'll scroll down until I see my IMEI. We'll grab the last four digits. I'll go ahead and hit generate partition. Enter the last digit of your IMEI. It's one in my case. I hit generate partition. It said road generated partition to SD card slash sidblock.img so I'll go ahead and go back to my command prompt I'll hit adb shell ls l forward slash sd card forward slash cid block dot img and it shows that it's there says if SID block image doesn't exist after running the app, do not proceed. Try rerun SID gen APK on your phone, then rerun the above command to verify SID blocks 
.img's existence. If it does exist, continue with these commands. So adb push run me.sh forward slash data forward slash local forward slash tmp. And you'll see that that was pushed. Double check and make sure that you correctly um, typed out the directories and the files. adb shell 755 space forward slash data forward slash local forward slash tmp forward slash run me dot sh. So let's go run it. Let's go change the uh, permissions and then adb shell data local tmp forward slash run me dot sh. Enter. This process will loop forever and give out lots of no such file or link failed errors, so just leave it running for now. In a second terminal command prompt, use adb to restore the modified backup. After running this command, the phone will ask you for permission to restore the file, so go ahead and allow it. So this is running right now. We're going to go ahead and open up another command prompt. See, in Windows 8, I had to right-click it and click Open New Window before I got another one. At this point, we're going to type ADB. Well, we're going to get in that same directory where ADB is. Type ADB restore backup.ab now unlock your device and conform, confirm the restore operation so we'll go ahead and allow it restore my data after the restore is finished you need to stop the run me.sh script in the first terminal use control C or just close the window So after the restore is finished, and that did take a little while, it says you will need to stop the run me script in the first terminal. Use control C or just close the window. And it says, from this point forward, you're past the point of no return. Do not continue if you will not be able to follow the instructions 100% as rebooting or powering down the phone at the wrong time will break the device. Ensure your device has at least 50% battery life before continuing. So adb shell data data com dot htc dot usage files exploit adb shell data dxdrm data Make sure you type all of these correctly. Make directory data. Says once it reboots, we'll have to do adb shell data local tmp run me dot sh again. This process will loop forever and give out lots of no such file or link failed errors again. Just leave it running. So adb shell data local tmp run me.sh we'll go ahead and open a new window get 
back to where ADB is, ADB restore backup dot AB. After the restore is done, you need to stop the run me.sh script in the first terminal. Use control C or close the window. So we'll go back and we'll hit restore my data. I'll say restore starting. Just let it run. This was what I was worried about the first time was that this really didn't give me a sign that it was continuing to process everything. So these videos will be split up into this process and then the unlocking via htcdev.com or the Asun 2000 uh, one click. Alright, restore ended. We'll go back to our first screen, close that. Now we'll type in these commands. It says not found, so I'm going to go ahead and check what I wrote. It looks like I didn't enter a space right here. Of course I'm not a dev, I'm just a normal phone user. says you can now unlock your device using hccdev.com simply select all support models for your phone type. So this will be labeled part one. For more information about this device and more please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel and go ahead and watch part two. Thank you.